Okay, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert a couple of extra columns. And I made a copy of the tab, of course, because you don't mess it up with data. Okay, and then for these that say room 401, I'm going to put in here equals split. And I want to split this at room spacebar because I want to get rid of that. I want it to just say the 401. There we go. And so I'm going to pull those down, skip those, copy paste, paste, okay, and this equals that. So this gives me all my room numbers. And then I want to concatenate this. This equals the cafeteria, ampersand, spacebar, ampersand, the speaker. Oh, wait. I want to do session first. Let's try that again. This equals the session number, ampersand, the room number, ampersand, the speaker, ampersand, the session title. So let's take a look at that. So now I've got the cafeteria with John Crippo student response systems. That's going to be a lot easier to analyze the data later. And I pulled it down and it just populated all that. So now what I can do is just copy it and I can paste it into the Google form. See if I have, oh, there we go, edit this form. and it's going to be choose from a list and I just paste Ooh, I got them all right there and I hit done and so I'm going to drag that up here nope I'm not I'm going to put that back down here this one session I forgot to name it okay so I'm going to move this session one up here. I'm going to get rid of this room number one. Goodbye. And there you go. So let's look at the live form. So now they can go around. And, oh, it says session number at the top. But I actually have it all together here. So we can actually get rid of something. And you can just pick which session, which room. They're all in numeric order. And then who's the presenter. So. That should make it a lot easier for everybody all around.